Let's take a look at some examples of using an HR diagram to determine the age of a star cluster. On this particular HR diagram, we have a series of curves that represent the positions of stars in the various clusters listed. Remembering what we just covered in the previous video, which star cluster would be the oldest? We're looking for the one with the turnoff point that's low on the main sequence, or as far to the right as possible. And that happens to be the star cluster M67, according to this particular HR diagram. Which star cluster would be the youngest? Now we need to look for the opposite, a curve with a turnoff point that's higher up on the main sequence. The cluster whose curve fits that expectation is NGC 2362. Now how about determining the age of a star cluster in particular? For example, how old is the Pleiades cluster? According to this HR diagram, it would be almost 270 million years old since its main sequence turnoff point is aligned with an age of about 270 million years. If you look at other sources, the age of the Pleiades cluster might be different, but it'll still be within the same order of magnitude, i.e. a couple hundred million years. And now let's do the reverse. Given the age, let's determine the cluster that's that old. Which cluster would be almost 28 million years old, according to this HR diagram? Now we're looking for a cluster whose main sequence turnoff point lines up with an age of 28 million years, written here as 2.8 times 10 to the power of 7 in proper scientific notation. That cluster happens to be H plus chi persei, where the letter that looks like a Latin X is actually the Greek letter chi. So in the case of star cluster M55, which we were previously looking at, whose stars are plotted on the HR diagram shown, the main sequence turnoff point occurs right around here. But without much more information on this particular HR diagram, like the spectral type and each spectral type's main sequence life expectancy, how can we tell the age of M55? Well, recall that the temperatures are associated with specific spectral types and we can use that approach to determine the age of this star cluster. The main sequence turnoff point for M55 occurs right around 6200 Kelvin. This temperature aligns with an F8 or F9 spectral type, or somewhere thereabouts, which would have a main sequence lifetime of almost 10 billion years, based on the main sequence lifetime estimates that we just saw. According to a paper from 2008, it's been dated to be 12.3 billion years old, which isn't too far from our estimate based on this HR diagram for star cluster M55.